Uh, I'm Nathan. Hi, I'm Adam. And we're going to play some, uh, is that Omerta? Omerta City um, of Gangsters. Omerta City of Gangsters. All right. Now, this is a game that came out on the PC uh, on January 31st of 2013 and on the Xbox 360 February 12th of 2013. So, two weeks later, it came out on 360, which is the version we are playing right now. And Adam, do you like this game? I do. I think its rating is unjustified. Do you want me to tell you what that rating is? It's too low. Whatever. You ready it is. for it? Forty-three percent on three hundred and sixty. Yeah, I didn't. For Metacritic. Uh, didn't get a whole lot of love on the consoles, which strategy games rarely ever get good ratings on consoles. I think XCOM was really one of the first ones that kind of blew Middle Earth away. Battle for Middle Earth Two. You That's, know what? That, that one, one came one out just very, before. That was one of the very yeah. rare strategy games to ever get good ratings on a console. And was a good game, too. It wasn't just like, oh, got good ratings, and it was mediocre. That was a yeah. fantastic... I don't know how I forgot about that game. Yeah, now, so which uh, mission are we going to do Ab here? Ab what is that? Ab Ab Absicon Lighthouse is, like, easy. Okay. Like, downtown is, like, you have a lot of rival... rival oh, like gangs. So maybe okay. I'll just do Ab the Lighthouse or Want something. Want to do the Lighthouse? Okay. Yeah, maybe. So you have plenty of money, and the police has no to turn a blind eye. So we can just kind of go around and break people's Okay, legs. so you can name your boss character. All right. So. I want to be... Are, are you ready for this? This is a... Let's do it. This is a shout-out to Game Informer here. We're going to be... But. We're going to be Butts. Butts. Shout-out to Game it's Informer a good, it's a and their Butts. boss name. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Butts. I'm, right. I'm Boss Butts. Boss, that's literally. <laughs> so you get to pick what he looks like. All right, what disheveled person is Boss Butts? It doesn't matter. They all talk the same, so oh, whatever really? you look like. Kind of Johnny Depp a little bit. I always pick the last guy. This guy? He always looks yeah. like. He, he looks always, like a smooth criminal. <laughs> pretty much, that's his, uh, that's his M.O. So this game does have... So look oh. at this. So you get to pick like what... Try I always try to go with smarts and cunning and <laughs> finesse. Berries. <laughs> I, I would pick Earful. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Boss, you don't have to be strong. He doesn't have to be a strong character. But he should smart. have smarts and some finesse. Well, because he's not the one going around breaking people's legs. He's the one telling other people to the, go break yeah, people's legs. The key is to get those numbers over here, even them out as much as you can. Okay. But yeah, focus on finesse, toughness, and smarts. So basically, if you're not tough, they're going to see you as a weak boss. Is that kind of what that is? Yeah, I would okay. try to get some cunning in there, too. All right, let's go with Earful. Oh, there's different ones. Yeah, there's, okay. they do love about four or five of these. Okay. Uh, so you pick whatever you think is best. Um, oh, man. Uh, I want some muscle. So it's they give you scenarios now. Oh, boy. Okay. Um, you don't even really have to read those. Just look at the stats. I gotta go with the Enraged Bull. And so, what do you... I would do a pistol. Because it gives you some finesse. Okay. And it only takes down your muscle. And you have too much muscle, so just take... You know, I like this idea. You let you them pick because yeah, they're you so can pick whatever you. Yeah, you pick whatever you want. It's just. Like, I'm gonna go with a pistol, but I just like the, how that's written. That's you really, have too much guts. Not, I have too much guts. <laughs> Okay, let's go with the one with minus one. No, these are minus one guns. Um, what do I need less of? I could do with one less smarts, right? And do a cunning. Yeah, I'd do that third and, one. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So we are going to pursue the American, American dream. dream. in the land of opportunities. Yeah, now we're living the dream, Adam. We're in America. We're living the dream right now. And so here's. You can select your difficulty, easy, medium, or hard. Uh, let's go with easy because we're just playing through and having some fun. Believe me, it's it's a it's a learning curve when you go to the higher difficulties. They if you're not if you pick hard you need to know like every aspect. You need to I use couldn't every just jump single right in. Well you need to know every I don't see what you need to know, but you need to value every second you're playing it because okay. the computer's trying as hard as they can to take over your businesses, blow them up, so the AI kill your guys. So then. they're pretty smart. Okay. Um, now this is a game you mentioned maybe before we started recording that it's kind of like XCOM as far as the combat goes, and kind of like RTS. Turn yeah. Cover with everything else. Yeah, it's sort of like gather the resources, you know, sending out agents and stuff. Okay, oh, so, so here's. Here do you want me to take over? Do Absolutely, wanna... go for it. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep so, yakking. 
Oh, this is some. This TV shows it off very nicely. Yeah. Um, I love you can zoom in and look at everything. It plays that nice night. Now this takes place during the Prohibition in the 1920s. Okay. It's like Atlantic City, the boardwalk, and everything. So like, you can send your guy to. The best thing to do is send him to an informant so you can either cheer him up with beers, which I don't have anything <laughs> right now, so I have to spend money. Okay. That left thing with the single dollar amount. That is your dirty money in the right with the $2 signs is your yeah. clean money. Your clean money is what okay. you use to like buy buildings, pay off the police. Because if you use dirty money, they'll track it. Yeah. Okay. So Like, like their life. <laughs> so here you can have up to like how many? One, two, three, four, five, six or five other people that you can hire. Now are these like your uh, uh, henchmen? Yes, yeah, so or accomplices. I always pick this guy because he's fucking cool. Yeah, he looks awesome. Um, this guy too... You would like Daniel. This guy's funny. He says all some crazy shit. Hire him. So we're going to hire Doc. Yeah. He only costs 24 bucks. He's cheap. Exactly. He's a... Okay. Now, I cost more than that. So I'm, I'm so expensive. So informants is what you want to do. Okay. So I want to keep sending my guys. So I'm going to hire as many people as I can to make this go fast. So right now, we're just trying to place, put management in place, and then we're going to go... Make us some money. Do some jobs. Right. Okay. So that's what I'm doing right now. So you can see the map up there. Um, those X's are those like the um, places that I can access right now. Okay. Um, which, who Give should I hire knife. next? Let's hire the knife. He looks like a crazy bastard. <laughs> yeah, he does. He's an enforcer, so you want to even that out. Okay. They each have different positions. Like I have three masterminds, so I don't need another mastermind. So you definitely don't want another mastermind because you have three. Three of them. So okay. They they make everything go quicker though. So can you go to that screen again, just so we can take a, a quick look at it, since we're just here on easy. We're at the this. The informant screen. Yeah. Okay. So can you go into yeah? Just go into Squigs. Love Squigs that. Squigs is a burglar. Can you go to perks? Okay, no perks yet. So now, as you do, you level them up. Looks yeah, like they okay. all level up. They, can, they level with level your one. boss. Okay. Now, as they level up, they gain perks and special like abilities. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Um, this that game helps seems out. pretty sweet. So, um, he helps in a fight. Like if you get into a fight, like an enforcer, he's gonna help. So I try to get him, maybe this guy here, and big man up here. See, he's an enforcer. <laughs> This dude is looking. Oh, that dude. he's a hitman, so he's yeah. the best hitman in the game. So just hire him. You don't need another one. Okay. He's like fucking scary. <laughs> like <laughs> yeah, he looks terrifying. Um, so I'm gonna send somebody to start a speakeasy here. So these are all the different things you can do at a dirty. And it tells you what it. What this you is what I can that. access so far. Oh, uh, you can do weapon store. So the easiest thing though to start is a speakeasy. That's e easily so, so that's you can the first get beer. Thing do. Yeah, and you can get that happy. stuff cheap. Okay. Um, so city officials, you can extort them. You can do a charity <laughs> event. You can launder your money, which is actually pretty useful. Oh yeah. Um, so launder would convert it into clean money, so you can buy more property. Correct. Okay. Correct. Again, just um, like in real life. So we're gonna. If you see an informant, go to them first because they reveal more locations. Okay. So, speakeasy, you can upgrade that. So, right now we'll do 15% more from beer profit. That Storage as well, since we have a lot of money, we don't really have to do that at the moment. <clears throat> and we're Premises. Now, this is the thing premises. Okay. This is what we'll see. So, now we're renting this area. So, you'll see as soon as the boss character is done. You can actually see your little guy leave the. Oh, okay. So, there he is there. Oh. You can actually wow, he runs fast. Yeah, so mastermind characters get everything done mu much quicker. Dude, do so you know what this reminds casino. me of? A gangster Sims. That's what it is, basically. <laughs> Not Sims, but like... Well, this part seems a little Sims-y, yeah. where you're buying properties and like... And this is the part, if you don't consider this, can get kind of boring, I guess, if you're not into this. If you're not into this, you uh... might not like the game. I like it because I like making money and shit, and then when yeah. you get into the fights, the fights are fun. That's the fun part of the game, obviously. So a brewery, we want that since we just had a speakeasy. So the premises is you want to get as many premises as you can because that's okay. how you produce your product. Okay, now we're focusing on beer. Since we just did a speakeasy. Yeah. yeah. So this is another joint, a joint you can run an illegal operation from. Ooh, boxing. So it's like you got to read all the things that it does here. So we can get a boxing arena that generates profits and dirty money. Depends on your liked rating. 
Okay, so if you're not liking it, I only have it two in like rating, now, so it's not going to do Now the two much. is that thumb up there, right? Yeah, you're, okay. So brewery, we wanna, we want that. We need more uh, efficiency. Okay. Um, I'm gonna hire our last guy Ooh, here. It gets really dark. It does. Yeah, it can get dark. Um, who should I hire? Who's this guy here? Grifter. I'm not even sure what that means exactly. Um, he's good with a machine gun, like a Tommy gun. Okay. So I guess we'll hire him. Sure. Um, this is usually the crew I go with anyway. This is my standard crew. I, I like the rain and everything. I just like seeing like yeah. how they did all these set pieces here. Like It yeah, looks, looks nice. legitimate. So premises, once again, going to do that. I'm trying to try to get us into a You know, fight. I think that's something that this game got docked for, too, is uh, the uh, graphics. But I don't think it looked that bad. No, I, I mean, obviously it's going to look better on the PC. But right well, now yeah. we only have the... 360 to purchase land. This is where you use your clean money at. Okay. It's right here. And you send the gangster there to purchase it, right? That's what we, it said. Yes. We will. So I might try to. Let's lavish do a lavish gift. gift. Okay. Uh, celebrity. So that's what you're doing with some of these management people. You're sending them on missions. Oh, so all my guys have jobs right now. I can't use one of them. That's what we're doing, right? We're sending them on missions. Yeah, we're okay. sending them on stuff to get your, you know, shit done right now. Okay. Um, premises, so we're going to put a... What else do we need here? We need... Uh, we need... Oh, what's this do? Oh, we need that. Yeah, the number... The two most important things you need on premises is, is a brewery and a distillery. That's okay. the two most things you need to start with. Is those. So he extorted a politician... Which is funny. Okay. So we'll send him to go do the informant. Okay. So it can go pretty quick here. Okay, this is your clean money, and this is where, if you're not careful, you can spend, like, easy, too much. Casino's the <clears throat> best thing, biggest thing in the game you can have, but it costs a ton of money. Okay. You also got to upgrade your uh, hideout. Yeah, I did see that. It was asking you... Uh... You had to have a higher so, hideout. Yeah, so I'm going to upgrade it a few times. Like okay. Like, upgrade it maybe one more time. Oh, you're going level four so already. Look at that. That's nice. You wow, can actually, look at that. Yeah, you can see inside of it. Ooh. Yeah, it's supposed to look a lot better than that. I didn't decorate those. So the, oh, decorate it. Looks, that's why it looks shitty. Decorate um, it, though. All right, hold on a minute. I'm trying to figure out what to build. I want it to look pretty. Um, so we're going to build a casino just so you we're can see We're just going to go right casino. after it? We're just going to go get the casino at this point. So were they just going to bolt out, bulldoze the buildings and put it in the casino? Yeah. Oh, so just like real life. Pretty much, yeah. All right. So all Displace the citizens and put it in the casino. See, this is probably, like, too easy would be my guess. Like, um, base pays interest on your dirty money and boosts the efficiency of the bookmaker. So we want a bookmaker. Um, basically, you try to you know, monopolize everything in the area, and this yeah. is easy. Like, we probably should have picked the second one, but right now we're just like... Yeah, it's just for funsies. This is just for funsies. I don't know if I'll even be able to show you the action part of the game, because yeah, I'm, not that's getting, I was gonna ask. I'm not getting in any trouble so far. I need we'll try to, and get in trouble. That's what, that's what I'm doing. I gotta, okay. I'm trying to... Yeah, I want to see what the combat looks like for sure. I want to show that off. So we're going to smuggler. Put a smuggler <laughs> We there. could always quit and go... Just jack it up to hard. Pretty much. And see what happens. So he just set up a casino. Okay. Uh, what's this? Upgrades. Rig games. Rig games. We're going to do that, of course. Sell oh. additional liquor. So that would generate more money. Yes. Uh, what should I put here? Do I put a bookmaker? I need to put a loan shark yeah. somewhere. Yeah. So that was all my dirty money, pretty much. Okay. So I have one cop star. And this is... Now, is that the uh, suspicion of the cops? Or is that... Like, are you... Is that like the cops aggro on you? Kind of GTA? Yeah, pretty much this is their... Okay, that's not what I wanted. Um, oh, okay. This is really important. If you hold down the right trigger on the Xbox... Yeah. 
you want to hit X in the middle there. Oh, is that like special power? These are jobs that you oh. perform for other people. So I can do the money. Okay. Uh, which we need. We need beer right now. So yeah, you want to keep doing their jobs. Okay. They ripped Charlie Luciano. They ripped that off of Lucky oh. Luciano. Um, you have no henchmen available. So this guy, that Deputy Kingsley, he got he can get on your ass real quick. Okay. Uh, setting up a loan shark so that we have two cop stars from that. Oh, Crime Lord's now on bad terms with you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Where's the uh, Crime Lord? New relations. Cold. I want to actually... Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. Christ. Rob the bank. This is how you get into the... Just take the guy with the Tommy gun. <laughs> well, I'm going to wait till my other guys are done then. Oh, okay. Because <clears throat> it's better to go in with that. Now, when you rob the bank, is that uh, like a... Um, well, uh, here's some, Here's the thing where you can actually get into trouble here. Oh. So I actually bought the additional beers that he was trying to give me. Now, is that to try and get more trouble? Yes. Okay. So we're going to do a heist. All right. Actually, at least before this video is over, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna show you the action part of this. Awesome. And we're gonna. Yeah, because I definitely want to see maybe it. Maybe move on to the Godfather here quickly. Okay. Yeah, we'll see if we can set that up. We also got a podcast to do. Woo! As well. So we're moseying along. Yeah. Here. We're speeding starts... along. Oh, he's still running over there. This looks interesting, though. I think I, I definitely think I would pick this up for a couple bucks. And, oh, it's like and get some enjoyment. Seven, out of it. eight bucks on console, and That's it's like bad. I would get it on console if you're trying to save your money, though. But Steam has the better version. Steam does because it has the gold version. edition. It does it's got like a complete edition? Like it's twenty five bucks for everything. Yeah. With the DLC, which I want to do. Yeah. Because on this, this is just the base game. Plus, you can refund it within two hours or two weeks, um, on Steam if you don't like it. That's what I would actually recommend then, just in case uh, people don't enjoy it. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Here okay. I'm, I'm going to sign my... Nasty surprise. So, yeah, you <laughs> want to get your best guys. Okay. Doc. So we're looking at the success chance, We'll send right? butts in there, too. Yeah. Butts, 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 butts. So you can butts. do an auto-resolve, or you can do a... You can do it yourself. Okay. So if it was like 100%, you would probably just do auto just resolve. Just do it because you're going to Save win. time. That gives you less of a chance to screw it up yourself. Oh, okay. In other words. <laughs> so how's the campaign in this? I wanted to ask you. I have gotten to the final mission. I cannot beat it. Really? I can't beat it. It is so... I looked up the ending oh. after that because I just... I, just, I can't. <laughs> okay. Now, is that just like the I team you have? I don't want to spoil have? anything, but it's... Okay, you see? <clears throat> You see how this looks? Oh yeah, it looks a little. So XCOM. you have move points. It pretty much is XCOM. It's big. It's, it's action XCOM. points and move points. I'm guessing is down yes. there. Okay, so this is where we want to go. Obviously, it's where the money's at. Exclamation points! Is that like the people seeing you? Um, I think that's where we got to go. Oh, 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 oh. The objective. Okay, so we want to move our guys. That's too far. Now, what if you did this during the day? Would there be like actual like bankers and stuff here? Uh, no. No. Oh, like, so no matter what, there's no bankers or anything? True. That is... So odd. It, I mean, I think they just did it purely oh, just as wondering. an action scene, I think. Yeah, I was just wondering, because I figured it'd be interesting during the day, trying to yeah. go there and escape and everything with the money. Oh, I, yeah, I get you. So I'm trying to move all my guys in there. It's okay. kind of harder than it. I like Doc. He's the drunk. He's the Irish drunk. Huh. He's my favorite. Okay, so we're going to move him in there. Hopefully, there's, there's butts. We're going to move butts in here. <laughs> when this game came out, I had such high expectations for it because I love gangsters and mob movies and sh stuffs. And, uh, well, you're really into Sopranos. I'm into any mob type of stuff. So okay. this game intrigued me. And I didn't like how it got low ratings, because I think it is a little bit better than what they gave the ratings. It's not perfect by any stretch of the You think like maybe like a 7 out of 10 or something? 7.5. Where it's flawed, but it's not bad. Not an 8, but a 7.5 would be okay. good enough for it. Not the best strategy game I've ever played, but it's 
if you like this, you'll play it. So it's certainly not bad. No, it's not a bad game. Okay. From what is led to believe. Yeah, because if you read reviews, they're pretty damning of it. Like they really yeah, don't they like don't, it. They don't like it. No. I mean, I'm gonna be honest. The performance, uh, as far as on 360, isn't great. No. It's it's pretty stuttery here. Um, even though it's not really doing much. Um, I'm sure that's a big reason why the reviews this, weren't They can great. the 360 version. Yeah. But like I said, I think PC would be much better. I just want to get my guys inside this damn room here. It's <laughs> yeah. taking forever to do that. But since they didn't put any enemies at the start, at the start of the bank, you know, you can't really help that. Yeah, normally there'll be people guarding it, right? Plus, it gives you this sneaky feeling. You sneak all your guys into the sneaky, bank, sneaky. you know? Yeah. You're like robbing it. It's like 2 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I like how the guys just stand out with his hands up in the air. Yeah, so we have to get there. Okay. And I'm trying currently to figure out how, <laughs> how to do that. Do you go... Oh. So, oh, that's out. So here. There, they, he spotted somebody. That's what that oh. means. There, there he is. So oh, let's zoom in. Get here. him. I wonder if we can move over here. Oh, he's aware of you. Oh, oh. Down you go. Whoa. So I spent all the boss's action points. All right. But so that guy's dead. Here's the bag of money. I need to send my guy over here for the bag. Okay. Oh, so he'll get there one. next time. Oh, fuck, oh, oh, guy oh. There. Wow. He is not good at shooting. No. Uh, Doc's... I'm going to move Doc here. I'm guessing that's mainly because um, we're on easy. This would be a lot harder if, yeah. if we were doing this, actually. I feel like they'd be dead. <laughs> on, like, hard. Pretty they'd much, be dead yeah. immediately. Well, I'm really glad that we found some enemies here. I was, I was kind of afraid we weren't going to find any. Now, were you hitting any buttons to shoot? Our trigger. Oh, right you do trigger. have to hit that to shoot? Yeah. It's not XCOM, you just hit A and they shoot. Huh. Oh, you got him! That's why I like Pistol the best with, for the boss. Most accurate. He's the most accurate out of the oh, yeah. out of the bunch, so I'm going to send Doc over here to get the money. Now, did they sound any sort of alarm or anything yet? Um. Is there any indication if they do? I think they do if you take too long. Like if you don't kill them the first time. Especially if you like. So here comes the second wave. You see how all of them up there? Oh, I do. The yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have to get back out all the way there. over here. Oh I have boy. To get, I have to get the two guys with the money out of there, pretty much. You can have the rest of your guys. They can die, but you have to get the two guys with the money out. So here's the thing: if they die, do they come back or are they dead? Dead? And you have to hire somebody. They're else. in the hospital, and you can't use them for like okay, a couple, you know, in-game days. You, okay. You know, I didn't know if it was like XCOM where it's permadeath. I always hated that. Yeah, that's what I think is good about this. Like nothing it wrong with like make you do that. Nothing. It's XCOM. I think it's a, it's interesting like concept. I, I just would always get sad when my people would die in that game, and it was like through no fault of my own. It was just like a bad roll, a bad damage roll. For, yeah, like, it was just a bad the band. aliens. Um. So what I'm gonna mm -hmm. want to do is send the boss out front here. Okay. Because he's the best point man. So they're moving their guys. I want to go play XCOM. <laughs> That's pretty much what it does. Did what you ever beat it? happened to my other people? Did they die? Did I have more people? What? You had four people. Oh, I have them. Okay. I don't know. I was thinking I had more than what I had. Oh, okay. Okay. Um... Some of them don't have a lot of moving points, like Alfredo. He doesn't have a whole lot, so it's going to be tough getting him to the door. So at that point, would you uh, you want to have chosen chosen somebody else? Not really. I mean, it's really it's all relative. It, it's okay. just like it's. I pick these guys because they're the best on the on the board. Right, not right, in, right. Not in the action because they make you the most money. I'm going to pick. You know. Plus, if this is the the thing that you're doing a lot less. I can definitely see why you. You don't. That. You definitely don't do this as much as the actual like strategy part of the game. Oh, he got shot right so, in the chest. Yeah, they shot Frank. 
Uh, Frank's vulnerable now. So I want to get Doc and um, Alfredo out, is what I'm trying desperately yeah. to do. So he has a 33. I might as well use his points. Yeah, get him. Yeah, you got him once. Since I have to wait. To oh, use. there's a captain. Now, I don't know if I'll do this whole thing just because for the sake of time, but just to give you an idea. Yeah. Yeah, we can always we can move on any time, dude. We're 26 minutes in. I've been doing this for a bit. So, yeah, I can't shoot him. I'm going to do one more thing with Alfredo and Frank here, and then we'll switch it up. Okay. This game does take time, though. You have oh. to put the time in to get good. This game, like, if you try it on a higher difficulty, just be aware that it gets extremely difficult. It just gets real tough real quick. Like, that's how I cannot beat the final mission. I can't do it. What Even though I have all of the shit, like, yeah. I have a lot of money and I have my guys, I come so close. It's a part like this. I can't oh. beat that final part. I lose just by a hair. I lose my last guy just by a hair. So, have you played XCOM? Enemy within? I have, but it never hit for me. Okay, because that that's very similar to XCOM. There's that last mission in that game, and it is rough. Like it's the same thing where you can have the best guys and the best equipment. So I'm gonna do something stupid and send Doc out oh. the middle of the floor for whatever reason. Okay. Just because. Oh, and he this. Doc. Doc, you suck. Man. Come on, Doc. Boo, Doc. We're so close to the door, and it's just like taking forever. Now you get both of them, right? Not just one. Yeah, so I'm gonna send the boss up here. He's gonna be pretty much my guy. It's oh, gonna yeah. take everybody out at this point. Wow. So stupid stuff like that can occur. Okay, we if... have sixty percent, and you miss all of them. So there's flaws, Sweet. that's for sure. Um, <laughs> oh, so now shit. they're coming from behind. So they're gonna kill Alfredo if I don't yeah. get him out of there. Yep. You're so trouble. Frank's gonna die, I think. If I, so I'm gonna basically make Frank a meat shield at this point. He's gonna be a martyr at this point. He's gonna be a martyr. Oh um, yeah. Oh, you got him once. Got so him twice. Frank got him, so he did his duty. <laughs> if they kill him, that's fine. He's not old. Oh no, he's shooting. He's shooting, shooting boss. butts. I'm shooting butts. Yeah. I need to get Alfredo. His move point sucks so hard. Come on, Alfredo. Forty percent's better. No, nothing. Oh, we oh, got him once. Oh, we got once. Oh, twice. twice. Maybe Doc okay. can finish him off then. Shit, I shouldn't risk Doc. He has money. Yeah. yeah. Can't risk uh, the guy with money. Come on. Okay, oh, there we good. go. We just need one oh, you're left. So close. one left right there. And you I can't can see maybe, him. Maybe I can get the boss close enough where I can kill him. Oh, right in front of his face. No, that seems odd. Seventy percent, but he was like a foot away from him. Yeah, it's about as. It's like XCOM numbers. Yeah. <laughs> so They're now right I just gotta literally, I just gotta get them to the car. That's it. Go go go! And their move points suck so hard. <laughs> I like the rain outside. It looks nice. Shit. Oh no! If oh no! He's gonna kill, die. They fucking kill him. He's gonna die. No! What are you doing? No! Oh no! He went way. the wrong way. All right, I fixed it. I fixed it. <laughs> What the Where hell? are you going? Oh, they're blocking the doorway. What? That's why. Oh, oh come on. So. Get him behind cover. Oh, once he gets up here, he'll be good. Okay. okay. If you say so. I'm going to move them out of the way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. For sure. So I'm getting them out of here. Private's next. I just need to get the guys with the money out of the fucking building is what I need oh, to do. Oh, you're going to get shot so hard. At least Doc will be out of the building almost. Okay. So he's out. Frank, we can move Frank out too. He doesn't have any money though. He's down to like one fucking. He health literally health. has one health. So I can use. Oh, first aid. Oh, okay. So we well, that's first, interesting. We first aided Frank. No, you didn't. Anyway, we're gonna first aid. Shit, I can first aid one of them. But they're too far. Shit. Can't see him, and the other guy's too far. I have a feeling he's gonna die. Well, first aid Frank. Yeah, might as well first aid himself. So I didn't know you had um, had stuff like that with you. Yeah, you can. You can heal your guys, that's for sure. He missed both um, times. If I can get Alfredo out the door, he might live here. Oh, uh, come on, Alfredo. Oh. So he's out the door. we got to get them into these green squares, though. Okay. So we're going to get butts to the green square. So he's good to go. All right. Doc, I'm going to move him to the... 
He's almost going to be there. Oh, no, he's, he's not. He's technically in there. We're going to move Frank there, too. Okay. All right. We just literally need Alfredo to get into that fucking Come on, spot. Alfredo. Come on, buddy. All right. And, and we did it. Nice. So, like I said, it takes time. It can get very difficult. Um... This game isn't for everybody. You have to be hardcore strategy game loving guy to or girl or whoever you know, yeah. gaming fan. Yeah. Um, to enjoy this type of game because if you're you're not, you're not going to enjoy it whatsoever. Yeah. If you're just going for like the sim part. Yeah. I mean, which is fine if you like, like that. You yeah. can skip this part of the game entirely. But that was on easy, and you that can was still on see easy, some of easy, and I barely got through it. Now, yeah. grant you, all these guys <laughs> were on level one. Right. So they suck. Now, much. are they going to level up right after this? Yes, they will okay. level up. Let's see that real quick. I want to see what it looks like. They should have enough experience for that. Now, do they get more experience? Oh, so level up. All... Nice. And you got so 5,000 bucks, 30 So money. here's like perks. Oh, nice. Bloodlust, more criticals. So I like it. Incre yep, that makes sense. Increased HP. Yep. Well, and then you can go through and get more perks and all that stuff. Awesome. That was Omerta. City of Gangsters. Yeah. For the Xbox 360. Feel free to check it out, guys. Like I said, it's on Steam as well. There's the complete edition on there that does come with all the downloadable content if you're interested in that. Um, we're going to go ahead here and switch games up a bit. Uh, probably try, um, try to play a little bit of Godfather for the next episode. And thanks, everybody, for watching. Feel free to like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Click the little icon, the bell icon, if you want to get more uh, notifications on when we put new stuff up. I've been putting a bunch of stuff up about Final Fantasy trading card game because that game's really fun. Um, and we're going to try and do some more episodes here and uh, see how it goes. So thanks, guys. and hope